Today on Roblox Bed Wars News, new block burning mechanic, a ton of balancing changes, this YouTuber finally came back, Headless Horseman giveaway, season 9 leaks, and more. So this is a random number generator, whatever number it picks is how many likes this video must get. So can we get 5,741 likes on this video, go down below and smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe, it does help it a ton. Let's go ahead and check out today's update. There are so many new things on Bed Wars. Let's go over every single thing that was added. Starting off first with the Lucky Blocks game mode, the devs have added a new item. This is called the Bacon Blade, only to be found in food Lucky Blocks. It's pretty easy to get it. The Bacon Blade is 25 damage. When hitting a player, it applies grease. When that player walks around, grease will keep dripping. If you step on that grease, you will ragdoll. Honestly, a pretty annoying item. This item should apply the tasty and devour effect. However, it's currently broken. I rate it a 4 out of 10. The devs have added something new called block burning. At the moment, it only works with fireballs. Throwing a fireball near or at some blocks, it will start a fire. Blocks will catch on fire. Over time, those blocks will disintegrate and be destroyed. Honestly, it's a really cool concept, although it's not that overpowered. Throwing a fireball near the block will still set the blocks on fire. All that matters is the explosion radius. The fireballs can't burn obsidian, blast proof ceramic, and stone. Fire can be set to wool and oak plank. The stronger the block, the longer it takes to burn. You may wonder how does the fire stop? Whatever block is currently on fire, if there's any block next to it, it will catch on fire next. So if I place one block up here, that should catch on fire and looks like it does. If I place one block to the side of it, it will not catch on fire. Once a isolated block is destroyed, the fire does stop. If you're wondering, upgrading destruction, that does not make the fire stronger. I really like this new fire idea. The devs could have made it a lot better. It's just poorly executed. With the season one pyro kit, max upgrading your range, the tier four upgrade can burn blocks. This time there are no effects. So that's the new fire feature. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Here are a few secret changes Bed Wars did, but they were not in the patch notes. In the Bed Wars clan chat, it now displays roles. So for example, admin, mine is leader and that's officer when creating a custom match bed wars will show you a queue at the moment it's kind of broken but it does work in the top right corner of your screen bed wars now displays when the titan diamond guards and ores do spawn now you lose even more screen space the dev should really add a setting to hide all of that when winning a bed wars match and now displays your roblox profile picture on screen when you win the game back in the old days of bed wars the game did have this they somehow added it back. This right here is the Headless Horseman. It costs 31,000 Robux, only on sale for one month of the year. A lot of players really want this item only for the Headless Head. For the first time in history, I am doing a Headless Horseman giveaway. This is my biggest giveaway yet. To enter, you must like this video. You have to subscribe. Turn on that bell and set it to all. Subscribe to my friend Destroyer. Link in description. If he gets 10k subs, we are doing a second Headless Horseman giveaway. Next, join my Discord server, and the giveaway is in the top channel. Click the enter button and you're all set to go. The giveaway ends in two weeks. Headless head is super cool. These are the free kits of the week. Farmer Cletus, Lassie, Metal Detector, and for player level 20, it's Cobalt. The best free kit of the week is Lassie. Now it's time for the long list of balancing changes. The devs have finally nerfed the Fortuna kit. To gain card abilities, you have to fill up this bar. The bar now fills one half slower. It takes a lot longer to fill up your bar. Honestly, this nerf is not really that great. Just by spawn killing a player, you can max out all of your upgrades. The devs have buffed the gauntlets. The scaling function for gauntlets combo damage from linear to logger mythic. Getting combos is a lot easier. The devs increase the base damage at all stages. Lastly, the attack cooldown is reduced from 0.23 to 0.21. Overall, the gauntlets are a lot better. The devs have nerfed TNT and fireballs. The block explosion power is now a lot less. One TNT can't even break stone anymore. Fireballs are a lot weaker. With the Lifestyle 3 enchantment, the devs have nerfed it. Percent healing from 21.5% to 
all the way to 19.5%. Still one of the best enchantments in the entire game. For the millionth time, the devs have buffed the floor kit. Killing a player now gives you two free beehives instead of one. With the floor pots, they release bees. Those bees do have armor penetration, which means damage that ignores armor. The devs have increased the armor pen from 25% to 30%. Every damage counts. The devs have buffed the sheep herder kit. Around the entire map, you can find sheep. When claiming these sheep, it applies more damage to your sword. A wooden sword always did 20 damage. With one sheep, I now do 22. The devs have increased the sheep damage from 7% all the way to 8%. Pretty useless. Just don't die because you lose all of your sheep the devs have buffed the croc wolf kit when a player breaks your bed you turn to a croc wolf beast for nine minutes you're a lot faster and your knockback is increased the devs have buffed this kit the speed buff went from 200 percent all the way to 225 percent this is one really fun kit to play as Besides fireball setting blocks on fire, Kalia's punch will also do the same. Punching a player into a wall will set those blocks on fire. Playing as the builder kit, all fortified blocks can't be set on fire. Fortified blocks now take 0.20 less more resistance. Fireballs can't even break stone anymore. When playing as the Hana kit, sometimes there's a bug when it showed you the execute option and it never worked. The devs have fixed that. When joining a creative match, the spectator box now includes the map credits showing the map title and the creator with the ignis bridges combined with the scythe ability that was a really overpowered combo on a ignis spirit bridge you can no longer use the scythe ability for one entire year with the prismatic evelyn kit skin other players in game couldn't see it until today the devs have finally fixed that let's go test it out on my point of view it looks completely fine let's go see my friend's pov on my friend's screen here he can see the prismatic evelyn kit skin fully working i can't believe the devs finally fixed this so that's a new update on roblox bed wars let me know in the comments what do you think next up today here are a lot of bed wars leaks first we have a leak for a new kit over here it looks like a beast before the croc wolf kit skin came out there is a leak that looks pretty similar to this maybe this could be for season 9 next we have a ton of leaks for a hide and seek thing maybe very soon bed wars is finally making a hide and seek game mode on the Bed Wars dev account, there was a new game called Car Racers Made. However, this was an accident because it was posted on the wrong account. Once the dev found out, they made a statement over here. That's a really funny situation. Using the website called Rolling Wands, you can see every single game pass that Roblox game was created. Looking at the off sale category, there are some really interesting things here. One of them being the Battle Pass Season 9. We can actually view it on Roblox. It's currently not for sale. It seems that the devs are working on Season 9. That's because Season 9 comes out a few days before Halloween. I do a ton of Bed Wars giveaways. It does get really expensive. If you guys want to help out, go to Roblox, please donate. Go to the Gifts tab, type my username, and send a donation of any choice. Those that do donate, receive a shout out on my next video. Shout out to these people on screen. Last up today, this Roblox Bed Wars YouTuber finally returned. His name is Hanab, one of the most popular Bed Wars content creators back in the day, gaining over millions of views until he stopped uploading. He did come back and upload three videos, but that was it. Until one day ago, he finally uploaded. He made content on the Roblox game called Blade Ball. I wish him the best of luck on YouTube. I will link his channel in the description. Anyways, guys, that is today's video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Use star code MUD when buying Robux. When using my star code, Roblox does pay me. Make sure to check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.